Hello. Welcome to my uh, digital workstation. That sounds cool. Okay, we'll go with that. My digital workstation. I'm very inspired and um, I guess in awe of uh, those very cohesive aesthetics that a lot of people embody. I feel like, you know, cottagecore, dark academia and all that. And I came across on the internet, so you may have seen this before as well, this aesthetic generator. So essentially it randomly generates an aesthetic. So I thought it could be really fun to use this and to try and design an outfit that could go with that particular aesthetic. Now I might hit generate a couple times if I don't like the first one that comes to mind. We might do one that like I feel clueless about, but for the most part I think we'll try and look for the ones that really speak to me. Anyway, I guess we gotta hit the button. I'm nervous about this. Let's see what we get. I love how simple this website is. It really gets to the point, unlike my intro. Ooh. Boop. Rain garbage. <laughs> what? Should we try and do this first one even though, what? Like, I don't know. How would you dress? <laughs> They're two like physical things. Rain and garbage. I've got an idea for like the garbage side of it. I feel like it'd be an aesthetic that likes to repurpose things. You know, like rain is the earth giving us water. I'm trying. And garbage is something man creates. So it could be like, mm, work with me. <laughs> It could be an aesthetic that likes to reuse and repurpose things that other people might not, while also being very in tune with H2O. Should we try something? So what I'm thinking is I'm just gonna like start sketching. I'm hoping we'll do some more aesthetics. I don't wanna stick to just this one. So <laughs> if this one ain't tickling your fancy either, it's fine. We'll get around to it. So basically what? What's things we think of with garbage? There's obviously garbage bags. They look kind of like this. You got a little knot in them. And then the, depending on the size of the bag, they kind of look something like this. So we got like no garbage bag. Maybe it's got some lumpy things inside of it. They're usually very metallic looking, you know, because of their material they've been made out of. I feel like this idea of like a plastic garbage bag has a very cool texture to it. So that's kind of why I'm just quickly getting a feel for what that might look like and see if we can incorporate it into the outfit in some manner. Now it's very shiny. So we're gonna go very, very light for the highlights. Looks something like this. Made out a little gradient. There we go. Depending on what's under there, there's gonna be different highlights, obviously. Hey, 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 hey. We should draw a little uh, stinky fly or something. So you know it smells, right? <laughs> Now garbage bags can come in different colors. What I'm thinking is like a specifically like a grocery bag from a store. We could make up something. The bane of the environment. Push this backwards. And then they usually have like the store name on them. Garbage Mart. <laughs> that was funny to me. <laughs> okay, so there's like two different types of garbage bags. Uh -huh. And then rain, like how do you visualize rain into an outfit? Rain, rain. <laughs> Rain. It's gonna, it's gonna click. It's also just like actual physical garbage. You know, like paper plates. Very quick paper plate. Like plastic cutlery. That's a knife, by the way. <laughs> egg curtain. How do you even draw an egg curtain? It's really got me drawing things I never draw. Now the other thing is that it's like, it's an aesthetic, right? So it's kind of gotta have an air of like aesthetically pleasing in some manner which we're not there yet. It could be like something that's like random assortment of garbage, but it's like laid out. What's that word when you like take objects and you like pair them together and you like organize them? I don't know, but like you could have garbage and it could be like sorted into like rainbow order. So like if this was some garbage, right? I could color it in in like rainbow order. We'll be quick with this <laughs> just to see if it works. So we're taking something kind of gross and unnecessary, but the way we've collected it and assorted it, it'll start to create some form of meaning and purpose. Garbage can also mean like just a horrible human being. <laughs> Let's just try drawing like an actual human being and like see if something happens. <laughs> Let's try. So we'll need a head, a body, probably some legs would be nice. Feet. Other foot. Now I feel like we should keep it kind of trendy, right? I'm gonna just search trendy and see if, <gasps> you know, hey, paper bag shorts. They look like garbage to me. <laughs> no offense. I got roped into those things. I tried them on. No, mm -mm, not for me. Like you have the paper bag shorts, but they're made out of 
a garbage bag. Nice and long too. Maybe there's a knot in the front, kind of like a knot of a garbage bag. Mm, let, me, let me go back. We could just do like an actual rope. That kind of might look like garbage. See, I want it to be a mix of trendy and garbage. Trendy and garbage. Hmm? And I feel like if we're gonna have this big statement pant, it's gonna be black, like a garbage bag, like tone down the top. Or maybe having a lot going on is gonna kind of look like a garbage heap at the same time. Also, we could give them a handbag that's like, a plastic bag as well. I'm also keep thinking of Oscar the Grouch. I'm thinking it'll fit the garbage aesthetic if there's just like a lot of accessories and things like that. You know, if you took like a plastic fork and melted it a little, you could wrap it around your wrist and make a bangle. Ah, hey, my brain, it's clicking. <laughs> it's, it's doing something. I'll take it. So like we could do a fork. And then it wraps around the side, followed by like a knife that also wraps around like a pockets too, to fill it with more garbage. What kind of socks are popular? I'm feeling those like uh, sandals from 2007. Does anyone remember those? They're like fabric-y, woven, embroidered something. If they had a name, I don't know. <laughs> they were everywhere. I'm such paper bag shorts. See how other people style these things. Well, they almost always have a tie. Oh, we did do a tie. We had a little, a rope. We could also do like long, curly hair with garbage sticking out. Hasn't been brushed in a while, I'm thinking. Let's do a plastic straw earring. We could do some kind of hat made out of the paper plate. It's a really big paper plate though. I feel like everything should be kind of thrifted. So maybe this was cropped into this. Maybe it's got like a logo. It could be two pieces. So it was made out of two shirts. We give her a bag. Definitely. <laughs> Let's flip the canvas. Ooh, not too bad. Just this foot here. It's a little high. I feel like this is good enough, right? I want to color it and everything. So I'm gonna take this layer, move her into her own file here. Give her a proper rundown. That way I can like flip the canvas a little easier and quicker. That will lower the opacity. Create a new layer. Start adding in some line art. It's not like fully developed here, so hopefully we can figure out where all the lines go. Big eyeballs. Do some simple little eyelashes. Oh, I feel like I haven't incorporated enough rain. Oh, shoot. We got the garbage part down. Shoot, 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 shoot. Wait. Rain brings growth. Nature could just add some plants. April showers bring May flowers. So we could add flowers because rain brings flowers. What do you think? Hmm? Good? Is it good? I don't know how aesthetics get named. <laughs> Are they usually this in specific? Is that the word? A little vine. Oh, that's kind of gonna get lost in the hair, isn't it? Mm. Well, this needs to look like a paper plate <laughs> somehow. Or a plastic plate, I guess. Let's keep it kind of simple with the hair. <laughs> I'm kind of already itching to do like the next one and generate a new one, so. Hopefully <laughs> it doesn't show too much. Add that little straw. I just want most of the things to look very repurposed, right? Like there's a lot of thought that this character put into their outfit. Ooh, what about that thing? The thing connects like a six pack of cans together. Yep, one of these things. It doesn't look like, wait, let me look one up. What the heck are these called? Six pack rings or six pack yolks. So yeah, they're a big circle, circle around it. it actually kind of like does something like this. Hey, there we go. I feel like the other one actually looked better. <laughs> Water bottle. In that tank top. Got a two different shirts. Now we need a logo. What does that even say? <laughs> Let's do simpler words. Zoo. One of those freebie t shirts, right? And then this one will be like a warning sign or something. All right, starting to look busy. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> okay, this is where I want the little forks. I'm gonna draw the arm first. I also need that plastic bag. Plastic bag shorts. They're gonna be everywhere this spring. I'm gonna add the rope last. We'll see if I remember. It's plastic bag. Let's add that fork, knife. What about those like nets that hold the little mandarins? Can we use that somewhere? We can make that like a sock of some kind. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can tell what that is. You just give her a rubber glove. About like the plastic from a bottle it could have been cut. Kind of looks like a can. It could work. Need some kind of shoe. Sandals still make sense. I'm gonna do flip flops. Let's see what we got here. Hey, that colored most of it. All right, now I'm gonna create a new layer above that layer we just colored in with green and create a clipping mask above it. Now what this does is it allows us to draw on this layer, but it won't draw outside of that green space. We'll just throw in some colors. They obviously can change and very easily too, because we're using the clipping masks. 
Now, since this little thing is going to be clear, we're going to color it in underneath of it. And we'll add another color on top. Okay, that's all the skin, I think. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of things to color. <laughs> I pictured her blonde. Maybe we'll go with like a dirty blonde. Now see, I can color underneath the skin and it won't go on top of it because we're on a layer that's below it. See, we're on a layer that's below it. So anything that's above it will show first. Unless we turn off that layer, then it will not show anymore. But the more careful you are on your first couple layers, the easier the next layer will be and the next layer and the next layer and so forth. Until the end, you're just sort of like, <laughs> and it stays in the lines because everything else is colored. Now I know her shorts are gonna look like a garbage bag. <laughs> Do that next. What color is like a plastic plate? I mean, I guess we could just do white. This thing too can be white. All right, so now we've got some base colors down. I kind of want to color the, the shorts. I think they're too brown. I'm gonna desaturate those. Add in some highlights. Try to <laughs> mimic a garbage bag. Might add some like shadows as well in the same manner just like slightly further away from those i might also adjustment levels see what that looks like i think it looked better originally we'll leave it might also blur it just a smidge and then i'm gonna go over the highlighting spots with straight white push those even further problem is we're losing the detail of the shorts so i might lighten up everything just a little tiny bit just so we can see the line art again. Yeah, see, before, after. You can actually tell that they're shorts and not a skirt. And then add the face. Maybe a little blush. Ears. Lips. Maybe a little shading here. Push this arm further back. Little knee circles. I'm also gonna go to the line art layer, lock the transparent pixels, grab this much darker color, go over the line art, tone down the face a little more too. Hey, okay, see, they're starting to look a little bit more alive now. Like, I wanna do lots of pops of color for the rest of this. I want everything to really pop like garbage. And do I wanna do like a rainbow from one side to the other? Why not? We'll start with red at the bottom. I was gonna do it at the top, but here we are. And the gloves can be pink. And I'm just doing them in the, the like maximum saturation. <laughs> Purple. I have these all on one layer because I'm hoping I can kind of play around with the saturation all at once. Let's move to just like turquoisey color. Green. Oh, that's perfect. We just got to the plants. What's next? This yellowy, bottly color. We're back to like an orange and a red. Okay. It's almost too gradient-y though. Is that a thing? Like I feel like it's too smooth. I also want to grab this green color. Put it over this. That's a color the line art to a green color. It looks more like this bottle. Hmm, is that too gradient-y? Mm, I don't know. Just lighten some of the things in the hair. Okay, now I'm gonna grab some adjustments. First we'll do color balance. Just play around with the highlights. See, moving it around. What looks good? Does it look any different at all? Not really. Let's try hue saturation. Like if I drag this around, look at all the difference. Ooh, even that I like better. Yeah, I definitely like that better. Okay, now I'm gonna merge all of the layers and adjust the color balance just to make sure all of the colors are kind of cohesive. This is kind of like a little lazy way. To just check your color theory, I guess. So I usually like the highlights to be a little bit more yellow and red, and then the shadows to be a little bit more blue and cool. Do you see the difference? It just pops so much more pretty to me. It's like real life. Instagram. Let's go with Instagram. <laughs> now that's honestly kind of all the time I feel like spending on this one, but it's definitely unique. Maybe just a little highlight to the knee and the eyeballs. Give it a little more life. We could also add a new clipping mask and add just the tiniest bit of shading with this color. Set to multiply and a lower opacity. That's the like cheat way of adding shading really quickly. There, there's our rain garbage. There we go. Look at the color. Look at it pop. Don't look at the shoes or the feet. Here we go. There's our first aesthetic. Let me know if you'll be wearing this out of your house or at all. I think I know the answer, but let's get to the exciting part. The next aesthetic. This was like a challenge to just see if I could come up with something out of anything. This time I'm going to keep hitting generate until something really sparks. Let's try bird hipster. I actually like that one, but let's see if one like really screams at me. Sewer skeleton? Let's stay away from garbage. Nebula core? Oh, that one would be great. Cause that's just gonna be like galaxies, right? Maybe we could do one really quick. Let me see how quickly I could come up with one. Nebula, space. What are space things? Space buns. That's like a physical thing you can wear and it's spacey. Space buns. <laughs> 
We also got galaxies with lots of stars. I feel like I could just go straight in and start drawing a character, to be honest. This one's gonna have a little more attitude. Definitely boots. You can't go into space without boots. Space buns. Probably not that big. That looks like Mickey Mouse. Let's do a nice wide stance like an explorer. Okay, there's our little base. I'm gonna try and take some inspiration from like a space suit. So I'm thinking like a vest that's like this with a turtleneck underneath. Gotta have some kind of badge to look spacey. <laughs> we'll keep it nice and slim underneath. Maybe a three quarter length sleeve. Is that too like unwearable? I feel like it needs to be soft. We'll get rid of that. But I will keep a little, maybe it's like embroidered sort of badge. <laughs> maybe some fingerless gloves. I feel like fit this aesthetic. What are those? <laughs> what is that? With a skirt. Well, pants kind of speak to me a little more because like if you're going into space, you'd need pants. <laughs> what if we do like baggy cargo? Cinch it at the ankle there. Lots of pockets. Those weird lines on the pants. I feel like that's spacey. I really like these funny little triangle feet. I'm gonna keep those. I also feel like a fanny pack makes sense. More pockets, you know, work on the face a little over here. I feel like we can get away with like a lot of makeup for this look, cause it's a bit more out there and less nature-y. This is cute. I'd watch this cartoon. <laughs> I'm gonna copy this. Guess we'll just move it over here. Oh, flipped it. Now you gotta see it's a little lopsided. Now it still doesn't seem totally wearable to me. Although neither did the other one. So let's copy that, move it into file, fill the canvas with it, lower the opacity. I've got it flipped now, so I still can see like the little mistakes in it and I can maybe uh, rectify that while adding the liner at the same time. Big alien eyes. Oh, those are some interesting eyes. They have a bit of an Animal Crossing vibe. Oh, we didn't do any jewelry. Star, of course. I have not putting any effort into like what the person looks like. It's just been whatever pops out first. What if we give them freckles that look like stars? Do we wanna do a scrunchie or just, just the bun? I'm thinking the bun's fine on its own. Hey. Okay, I'm like, now this one's turning out better already. This one's more closer to my aesthetic, to be honest. I feel like the vest is a little weak. And honestly, the outfit would look fine without it. Maybe if we slim it down a bit, that might be better. We'll change this badge to a star. Just to keep with the theme. Maybe we can fix this hand while we're over here. Yeah. It's better. <laughs> that arm over there. Is it kind of a little too far out? Far right, out, dude. <laughs> okay, this is working. Add the pants, belt loops. Also need the fanny pack. These are like little zippers. I don't know, I saw some pants like this once. They don't seem that practical, but they look cool. Can't forget these little lines. They make a big difference. There you go. Boots. Now I just need to add in some color. This is where it's all gonna get galaxy. Start with like a purple. Hey, yeah, look at that. I got everything but the little tiny piece at the bottom. we we'll create a clipping mask and we'll do the same thing here. We start with the skin. I feel like if we're doing space, we need like super pale, doesn't get sun. I feel like if you're in space, even though you're closer to the sun, I feel like you wouldn't actually be exposed to the UV, you know? I don't know. <laughs> do I need a reason? No, I'll pick like the hair color and things like that after I know what the outfit's gonna look like so that it all feels sort of cohesive. Do you want lots of blacks and purples? We'll just kind of like throw them around and we can always change it up. Well, I was gonna make those fingerless gloves. One second, let me just finish <laughs> coloring in this bag purse. I might actually color those in black while we're here. So we need some blues. I'm thinking some deep blues. I'm gonna color in all of the pants and then we'll erase the little detail sections like the zippers, whatever this thing was that I saw on a spacesuit. Diaper lines. <laughs> okay, so now we have this blue layer. I'm thinking this is where we're gonna need some serious galaxy action. I'm gonna lock the transparent pixels on that. Grab a gradient tool. Grab a lighter blue first. Trying to add some little radial gradients here and there. I feel like the key to galaxies is keep it pretty subtle with your gradients and stuff, and then just go real crazy with the amount of stars. <laughs> go even lighter, maybe with the blue. Add some like, whatever these are. I think it needs more like deep, dark areas. 
So we got lots of little bright things. So I'm gonna take that blue color and go even darker and add in some more of those like kind of sketchy lines. Okay, and then we need stars. We'll just go white. I'm gonna do this on a second layer just in case I don't like where they are. I can erase them without erasing any of the design behind it. I'll actually do some like straight up star looking ones. Some crosses, lots of dots. Now I think what's gonna really make this pop is if I grab that galaxy layer and uh, go to the levels and drag this guy. And also drag this guy. Is that better or worse? I feel like now it's a little bit ravey. <laughs> I think it's better without it. Probably gonna go over like with a color balance at the end, which is gonna make like yellows probably pop even more. Actually, we could do that right now just on this layer. Before it was purple. Now it's got like some more greenish tints in the blue and it's got pink, which I quite like. Mm -hmm. I'll take it, we'll take it. Now I'm gonna grab colors from these pants to color the rest of the outfit. Let's do this bluish color for the tight knit top underneath. I might actually leave that purple color there. Eh, no, maybe that doesn't fit. Maybe we need more pink. It's not doing it for me either. What about black? I do think I like that better. It's more neutral. We could probably use the pink for like the star though. And for like the hair and lips, I could definitely grab one of these bright colors. And then we'll do like the pink for the hair. We'll also adjust the line art especially on the face. Kind of tones down the harsh black line art. I do think the vest is just a little over the top and makes it a little less everyday wear. It is what it is. Say la vie. Oh, also blush. That always makes the character look more alive. Erase a little bit for some highlight. It's wearable. It's also a little costumey, which is kind of what I feel like is the downfall of like an aesthetic. Like you gotta try and make it look wearable. And I think I went too costumey. I also wanna give her some eyeshadow while we're here. Blue, I guess. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna do that same thing where I merge all of this together. See if we can really make it pop. I'll just do my usual. Bump up the yellows and the reds and the highlight. Look at that. It's like so different. <laughs> I do like the more purpley skin tone cause it feels more like it doesn't get sun, but this is also just like, I think we'll go with the pink. Actually, I think we need curves. I'm no expert, but like basically these are your darks and these are your lights and this is what it looks like right now. But you can grab like the darks and you know, move it around and it will adjust it accordingly. It does help. We'll take it. Some fun I like to do sometimes is just add a little noise. You might not be able to tell from here, but when I zoom in, see all that texture? I really like this one, it really pops. Just grab it and Stick it over here. Ooh, yeah. I like this one. This one was Nebula Core. That probably exists. I probably could have Googled it. Oh well. Okay, we gotta do at least, at least one more. Let's bring that aesthetic generator back in here. All right, we're gonna generate another one. We gotta find a really good one, all right? Slime trash. Okay, we're avoiding trash ones. Swamp Bro. Isn't that just Mario Brothers? <laughs> Molten Ghost. <laughs> I would scream. I like the ones that have very visual references, but I like when it's just one. Like that's another like two. So we got like very hot things and very invisible things. <laughs> How would you even draw that? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Spinosaurus, anyone? <laughs> they have dinosaur as an aesthetic for clothing, you know? That's where I feel like I really struggle at least using this generator for what I'm trying to do, you know? <laughs> Lava Overlord. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I think I really like this. So it's like an evil villain with lava. Yeah, okay, we're doing this. So we want evil costumes. When I think of evil, I think of like pointy things, angry people, angry eyes. And what was the other word? Lava? So volcanoes, slow moving, molten rock. I think of like Maleficent's design with like the long cape. I feel like you could make something look a little bit like a volcano. Like you could have an outfit that has like that volcano shape. You could go with that like Yzma thing. So the head would actually be in here. But obviously if it's a super villain, needs like a staff. <laughs> Make them angry. So here's like the top of the volcano. Ooh, the lava could be like a boa. Do we want it erupting? <laughs> Uh, I feel like the person's getting lost in here. Wait, 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 this is speaking to me. I love the idea of like a Maleficent character. Also a little Cruella de Vil in there. Very Disney villain. I decide how tall I want this. Is it like a walking stick or is it a staff? You could do that like Thumbelina <laughs> thing with lava coming out the back. I need some pictures. 
Clearly, I don't remember what lava looks like. It's like lava could be the hair, but then it's not really an aesthetic. We're just doing a straight up Disney villain. I feel like the rounded shapes though do give it a much more kind appearance and we're going with Overlord. Like she obviously wants to take over the whole world with her lava abilities. The problem is lava just has that like soft, goopy, slow look. No, 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 no. I think a taller staff will give more Overlord and less Cruella de Vil. <laughs> has a bit of a witch vibe. I feel like overlord doesn't need to be witchy though. <laughs> can't even think of an example of an overlord. Those are looking like the snow witch now. Hmm, <laughs> nah. Do I wanna try and make something more wearable? Let me just try the wearable idea and see if it sparks some joy. So more ordinary looking human being. Got a body. Now I just have to give it some clothes. That's the fun part, right? <laughs> so it's the part I'm struggling with. Something wearable. A little jewelry piece. Something wearable that looks like lava. Obviously it's like the color red, right? So it could be anything. And then when lava starts to cool, it turns into that dark black rock. So that gives us two colors. We've got like orange and red and then black. I also feel like Overlord just requires a certain amount of like fanciness, like not casual clothes, but like spiffy, <laughs> like suits. What if we go with like a tux jacket with a copper bund? And if they're evil, we gotta give them like you know, pointy shoulders. Do you wanna give it like curly jack skeleton tails? Angry, because they're evil. I feel like a kind of a severe haircut makes sense. Ooh, a Karen haircut. <laughs> oh, we definitely need some like disastrous heels. <laughs> this one is, this one's got a little something. You know what really screams evil overlord to me? Over the knee boots. I'm gonna try it. Definitely bordering further away from the wearable look. What if we stuck with the sort of like tux look? So I like the idea of the tux with like the copper one, but instead of like the tux jacket, we go with like a leather jacket. Was that actually gonna look any different at all? Wait, we would have these little things, right? We could have like studs. Okay, that doesn't really look that much different. <laughs> Start from scratch, but keep the same idea in mind. I like the wide stance, looks very powerful. I like the over the knee boots, it's just, I don't know what's throwing it off. The pointy shoulders, kind of like swooped it up a little bit. Trying to like do like a bralette thing. <laughs> I don't know, I don't draw evil things. What if we give this leather jacket coattails? Can I exaggerate that hairdo? <laughs> I feel like that's the closest we've gotten to what I'm looking for. I might add a little uh, line art and color and see where that takes me. <laughs> Look, they're twins. <laughs> Definitely need some angry eyebrows, sour expression, and then that hair. Let's go real aggressive with it. And then this collar. Those can be either fun or frustrating to draw. Oh, I want jewelry. I feel like overlords are very over the top. Draw those little like ridges. That's like this super pointy. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. All right, we gotta add some color. I think I'm just gonna have to really commit to the colors looking like lava. Start with just the jacket, I guess. And the boots, some skin. Keep it in that red color scheme. Maybe another shade of black. Now I was gonna have the bralette be red, but there's red right there. So I'm gonna try it in this color. Now to make that leather jacket look more like leather, we're gonna have to make it look more metallic. If light was hitting it and reflecting off, where would I be? I think this could definitely get some benefit from using the levels. Ooh, that's all too red. It does have a lava vibe, but let's remove some of that saturation. You know what else I think it needs? Some very soft shadows. So I'm gonna go have a soft brush, fill in some of these areas. Does that work? I don't think it does. Let's leave it the way it was originally. Let's go to coloring the red and trying to make it look more like lava. So we need like oranges and like almost a glowingness, you know? Sort of like these shapes, varying in like thick and thin lines. Get a darker red. Maybe it needs like some bubbles. Kind of just drawing red water. <laughs> Maybe just a couple rocks here and there. Kind of fit them into the flow. Want to copy paste these thingies. <laughs> Line those up. So what I want to do with this though, I want to leave the one on top, make it a little brighter, and then take the one that's below it and blur it. So hopefully it'll make it look like it's glowing. I'm also thinking I might want to change the copper bone to just this bright yellow color. I think I will change the bralette to red or at least yellow. Maybe a gradient? Now this yellow thing kind of looks out of place. Also, I might grab the boots. I had some extra highlight like I tried to do the cheaty way before. 
Oh, blush, 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 blush. Jewels, I'm thinking, I don't know, yellow. Try that. Go a little ear piercing up here. Ear piercing. You, you know what I meant. Oh, we didn't do the line art. Okay, it definitely screams Lava Overlord to me. We're successful in that regard. I might do one of those quick shading layers. We will lower the opacity. I'm just throwing in where I want it first. Then we can lower the opacity of this. Tone it down. I like it a lot better. Uh, merge all the layers. Do a quick color balance. Ooh, that works really suits this one, doesn't it? <laughs> Look at before and after. I'll also add a little noise for the fun of it. Hey, I feel like I complained a lot through that one. I apologize, <laughs> but I'm really happy with the colors. I feel like the colors really made it pop. I think it's because it didn't really have anything screaming lava at me until I added the colors. You can kind of see more <laughs> our little journey to this one. And then the nebula one that was really purple. Ooh! Oh my gosh, don't they look like they would fight each other? <laughs> In the same cartoon. Where's our rain garbage? What did that one even look like? Okay, yeah, that one doesn't really suit the universe. I don't think she'd be hanging out there. She's hanging out by the shore, doing her own thing. <laughs> rain garbage. I still don't get that one. But hey, I came up with something. Nebula core. That one came pretty easy. And then Lava Overlord. Hey, that was really, really fun. Even if I complained a bit through it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I do want to thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in that website with the range of generator to do a few of your own, I'll have it linked in the description. Also, if you try and redraw any of these aesthetics to kind of design your own, if you're sparked by any inspiration, I would love to see what you come up with. Thank you guys watching. I'll see you guys all next week and I hope you have a delicious evening. Hello waffles! Bye!